you know, it seems like this have become the dumping ground for all the bad stuff uh, in Memphis. Tonight we're asking, is this the most polluted neighborhood in Memphis? A series of Fox 13 investigations found smog and chemicals plagued this community. And now Severe Weather Center 13 found a weather pattern that could make the problem worse. Fox 13 is committed to covering our contaminated community because of all of our neighbors. They deserve a safe and healthy place to live. Just two weeks ago, our investigative team uncovered an increase in ozone pollution in Memphis's air. And tonight, meteorologist Matt Urasavik takes that investigation one step further, exposing how the upcoming summer heat could make our most polluted neighborhoods even worse. I actually been living in this area the second time for almost 30 years. Boxtown runs in Batsel Booker's blood. The retired Memphis Fire Battalion chief grew up next to the house he owns now. The historic community was founded by former slaves, but now it's plagued by sickness and disease. They polluted this area for so many years with the coal mine and stuff like that. A lot of people uh, got cancer and died. A lot of people is still living with cancer. A Fox 13 investigation identified Boxtown as the most polluted neighborhood in Memphis. Surrounded by the Valero oil refinery, the now shut down TVA Allen fossil plant, and federal Superfund site refined metals. This whole community have received so much hurt and harm because you got a lot of people there have got cancer and other things. Severe Weather Center 13 tracked code orange days, which classify unhealthy air for compromised people. Air quality data first started in Memphis 44 years ago, and in that time, air quality has drastically improved. Over the past four decades, Memphis averaged 40 code orange days per year. Over the past 30 years, that dropped to 34.3 days, and in the past 10 years, only 7.7 days. Here locally, of course, we've seen a significant drop over the past years, uh, uh, decades. Uh, our recent uh, analysis showed that uh, you know, from 1999 to 2019, just before the pandemic, um, like a particular matter dropped by 46%, and the ozone dropped by about 20 to 25%. Dr. Chun Rong Jia is a professor of environmental health with the University of Memphis, who measures air quality. He echoed a recent survey by climate research group First Street Foundation that found legislation, including the Clean Air Act of 1990, helped enforce rules that led to the reduction of pollution in Memphis. But now, that's changing. They dropped, but in the past a few years, in particular like 2022 and 2023, We've experienced hot summers, and those days potentially contributed to poor air pollution, which increased those unhealthy days. And this might be related to climate change or global warming. Here's those past few years Dr. Gia was referencing. Four code orange days in 2020, seven in 2021, but 13 in 2022, and 16 last year. Last year was also the hottest on record across the planet. Let me explain how heat makes air quality worse. Hot, humid air is dense, so it sinks to the bottom of our atmosphere. Our hottest days in Memphis come from high pressure systems. And those are characterized by cloudless skies and no wind. And they act like a dome, trapping that hot, humid air at the surface and also trapping the pollution in the same communities where it originates the contaminated communities near a lot of factories like Boxtown. Basically, the major point is uh, low-income minority communities are experiencing high levels of air pollution. And for neighbors like Batsel, it means the progress we made in our city's air quality is being turned back by our increasing heat. You know, we want to know that we're watching and if you really, really care, come and get in this fight with us, not just for us, but for the future. 
in Boxtown. I'm meteorologist Matt Urasavik reporting for Severe Weather Center 13. Now, of course, we here at Fox 13 uh, Memphis and also Severe Weather Center 13, we're watching as well. We're also watching heat as it might build later on this summer. And you know, another factor when it comes to summer heat is the increase in wildfires. That contributes to poor air quality levels as well, especially nor fires that occur north and west of the city or north and west of the Mid-South. All that smoke can easily be sent over Memphis, Boxtown, and all of the Mid-South. And you know, I did a story back in 2017 on that Superfund site there in Boxtown. Mm -hmm. Not specifically Boxtown specific, but it was about pollution overall mm -hmm. in Memphis. And the mm -hmm. frustrating thing for me, and I think especially the people who live there, the people who live near the old Army Depot, the people who live near these Superfund sites specifically, we keep telling this story and it doesn't change. Mm. That's the frustrating yeah. part. And now we've got the weather on top of that? That's why it's important to get the message out, just like we did tonight. I mean, there are things you can't control, like the weather, especially when it comes to changing weather patterns, mm. changing climate, yeah. cl changing weather systems. But getting more stories like this out there, letting more people know about it, the effects, and the possible solutions can help spur change and help people get into action. You can only hope so, because this that area especially has fallen on deaf ears for yep. decades. So you can only hope so, that someone's listening. Mm-hmm listening and then doing something about, about it. it yes exactly thank you andrew out there right now